Hey everybody, and welcome back to more Yuko Lele. We have just arrived in Moody Maze Marsh. Quite an interesting name. Um, and yeah, I don't know what to do here, so I'm just going to explore and hopefully we'll find some stuff. I noticed something on the loading screen on the way in here. I Oh, does that kill us? The water stuff? I guess that makes sense, considering that we saw the uh, a bunch of platforms next to that... Uh, like in the middle of all the the marshy stuff. So how do we get out of here? Mushrooms? Do the mushrooms help? It seems a little precarious. Okay, that can't be the way you get out of here, right? I mean, that seems really mean. But hey, the game's probably gonna get harder from here on out. I was told that Gloomy Gem Grotto is probably not going to be the worst of uh, the game, so... No, 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 no. Ugh. Oh, wait. Is the path forward underwater here? This is probably more likely. Alright, let's go down here. Get some quills. Oh, you know, I just remembered something. Remember that switch in World 1 that was guarded by the blowy things underwater? I bet that's what we have to do. We have to use our bubble ability to, to trigger that switch. So I bet this starts like a fan or something. So I'm going to go ahead and get back up here since it seems like that's already activated. Whoa, whoa. Are you guys the normal bad guys here? Okay. I like the music in this world. It's very kind of mischievous. It's kind of got a sort of spooky atmosphere, but not quite. Ah! I gotta re remember what water is bad and what's good. So I think if you can see through it, then it's good. If it's that stuff that's kind of murky, it's bad. I think that's the rule of thumb here. All right. Oh, this is the thing that was telling us about the the expansion, right? Mr. or Mrs. Pumpkin. Oh, okay. That sounds like an interesting challenge. So if I get wet, I'm going to pretty much fail. Okay, I see. Oh, okay. So this doesn't seem to be timed. No! Okay, that seems easy enough. We just need to make sure we don't stay on that wooden platform for long. <clears throat> well, as far as introductory challenges go, this is a pretty fun one. What? That counted? Okay, let's try not to land too hard. Or, like, not too far off to the side either, because that, that's going to happen there too. Yay! We did it! Woohoo! Alright. This looks like bad water. So I don't want to go in that water. Is there stuff under here, though? I'm so glad we got the bubble ability. Kind of think of it, we discovered the bubble ability on the way to this world, didn't we? So I'm wondering if... We did take the right path, because admittedly the path to this world just seemed really, I don't know, it seemed really hidden, like compared to the one to world 2, and maybe that's by design, I don't know. Alright, that's kind of an odd way to get forward, but maybe the theme of this world is like finding hidden paths to get places? I am really liking the, the change in atmosphere a lot, like that's been, that's been great. Okay, is th are those in... Wait, is this harmless, this stuff? Okay, this is just ground. I thought that was, like, liquid there for a minute. Okay, let's refuel on health. Well, they weren't kidding about this place being, like, a maze. 
Because this place is very labyrinthine. Hey, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> I was wondering what purpose the jack-o'-lanterns serve. I should have known that they'd just be bodies for those eye things. Okay, so let me just get my bearings here. I'm wondering if the path we took here was the intended path, or if there was something else we were supposed to do. Come on, there you go. Get the quills. There we go. Oh! Did I just activate something? Okay, we got a pagey. Oh, I have to run. Oh, I can't roll with this thing. Okay. Oh, and I... Oh, boy. That's gonna be... Ah! Oh. Another speed challenge. Yay. Alright, so we obviously have to turn to a bubble. Question is, how do we get past that like set of two spike things? Do we just temporarily let go of our bubble until we get past that particular part? Okay, we need to get back into bubble form. So as long as we hit this... Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, run for it. No! I didn't mean to do that! Guys! Alright, let's go back. <laughs> for some reason, I love that losing music. It just sounds funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to go up. Really? Maybe we should come back to this later. I don't want to die here. Uh, I said I don't want to die here. There you go. At least we know what's here. That's nice. We know that there's a pagey waiting for us when we can get it. Maybe there's like a tonic that... I can't remember all the tonics, but maybe there's one that lets you hold your breath longer, I think? That might at least relieve the pressure a bit. Speaking of which, we need to find Vendi. Not again. No, no, no. Where did you go? Oh boy. It's dangerous water time, guys. Woo! And fire, apparently. Okay. This is very precarious. But we made it. Alright, cool. Oh, not you. Okay, looks like it... Did it die in there? No, it didn't. Of course, enemies can't get affected by bad stuff. That only happens to heroes. So what are these things we keep seeing around here that are, like, glowing and stuff? There we go. So, can we lick that? What... What do we do with that? We saw that kind of thing back in Hyvory Towers, too, but we couldn't do anything with it. What?! Oh, that is so not cool. Okay, there's a bunch of things here. Maybe you can't do anything with them and that they're just outlining something and pointing it out. Something like that? I don't know.
Well, I will say this. I'm thankful that this world is not super slippery. That is really, really nice. Oh, hey, it's another NPC here. Hey there. I do have the lash move. I got... Is this a different move? Because I thought Lizard Lash was the the tongue thing, right? Oh, hey, it's Mr. Bones. And it's Mr. Annoying. Come back here. No, no, no. So how do you make sure you effectively kill these things? I feel like the ground pounding method is not the best method. Oh, there's two of them! Not cool, yo. Alright, I've had enough of you guys. Need to get some health back. Okay, Dr. Bones. <laughs> Artifacts. Hearts. <laughs> Thick glass, huh? Alright, I really don't want to do much here until I find out what the trouser moves are, and I don't know where trouser is. I feel like in the last two worlds we found him really easily. In this world, I must just be going the wrong way or doing something wrong here. Cool. What did that do? Oh! So this is like a way back. That's cool! I I like this idea. This this makes this world very navigable. Unfortunately, we can't jump on top of it, but oh well. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely enjoying this. Uh, oh, another butterfly. I want to refill on butterflies. There definitely wasn't anything here. I think we checked here, right? Yeah, nothing there. I'm just trying to retrace our steps so that we can find Trouser. Because I really want to know what those moves are. So wait, we didn't go here. Because I thought this was dangerous <laughs> earlier. Everything looks so green. I think that's the only complaint I really have about this world. But Oh, here he is. But it's a very minor complaint. All right, feds. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, well, we definitely have enough pages for this. Lizard light. Okay, so this is the one that we need, right? I'm sure you're the only sales snake. <laughs> oh! Are those what those things are that we've been seeing? So wait, how do we... How do we... Like, what... Oh, C! Okay. C is how we do it. Okay. Sonar Splosion. Yes. Oh, don't use in your glass. So this is how you break that glass that we heard about. Okay, this is awesome. It's, it's beginning to come together now. Like, I'm, I'm really appreciating this here. Well, so far, none of these moves have been rubbish. They've been good. I guess maybe, like, the hold con left control and press left alt. Okay. I can imagine. Oh, are those the only two? 
Okay, well that's good enough for now, I guess. I thought there would be three like the other worlds, but hey, if there's only two, I'm not going to complain. So we came from... where did we come from? I just want to make sure we're keeping stock of where we've been. Okay, we came from here, so... I'm going to go follow the right wall. Hopefully that's good. Wait, this is where we were earlier, right? Get out of here. Ah! I can only assume we're going to see more and more of those things as time goes on, so I might as well get used to it. But, I will never say no to more butterflies. This is the... Yeah, that's that spot. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I figure as long as I explore all this stuff and memorize where everything is, it will be much easier to backtrack and find it as time goes on. Alright, so that's the path that led over there. So this is kind of like the hub area. This is where Trouser is. This is Vendy's like right over there. So let's go and see Vendy. This world is reminding me a lot of... Um, watch me, we don't have anything new for Vendy, do we? I'm going to keep my tonic. This world has a lot of... Um, what you call... Um, resemblance to that haunted world from Pac-Man World 2. Like the spooky island or whatever it's called. Wally. Farmer's market, huh? Ooh. Oh, is this one of those destroy all the things within the time limit challenges? <laughs> this kind of reminds me of the get rid of the trash thing from Super Mario Galaxy 2, I guess. What do you mean by they all grow back? Because there's no time limit to this that I'm seeing. I thought we had to, like, destroy all these in 30 seconds or something. But, hey, I will not say no to... Oh! Okay. I guess it's like a memory challenges challenge thing. You have to just remember which ones you've done, so... You can find the pagey, hopefully. I don't see how you could, like, destroy all these in time before they start growing back, right? <laughs> that boing sound is funny. Or do we have to destroy all of them to find the pagey? Maybe that's how you do it. Is there a quicker way to do this than ground pounding them? Okay, there has to be a quicker way to do it. Is there like a fire flower or fire flower? <laughs> Still thinking in Mario terms here. There's got to be like a quicker way to get rid of this, right? Maybe the sonar thing. Let's try the sonar thing out. All right, I'm sorry about that. I um, had a little bit of an issue here where I tried to use the sonar thing. As it turns out, there's a hot key on Windows that completely rotates your screen whenever you press Alt and an arrow key, which is what I was doing. So I'm going to try this again, and hopefully this time we won't have as much of an issue. So I'm going to try to stand in a central spot here. I guess we have to build it up first. There you go. There we go. And last but not least, there we are. I feel bad because I feel like we just destroyed all of his mushrooms. Also, I can't seem to skip over the dialogue here. Is this dialogue just not skippable for some reason, or...? That's weird. I hope we can actually do this in the future. Okay, good. Okay, so it was just that one. Yeah, what's up with that? Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, real shifty, alright. Cool, alright. 
We're already getting pages in this world. Okay, I can't jump on top of that. But yeah, this whole world reminds me a lot of the haunted world from uh, Pac-Man World 2 so far. Just the general aesthetic of it. And I really like that. I think it really works well for this. I wish there were less green things, but it definitely gives it a lot of color, so I can't complain too much about that. So yeah, I, I ended up having to quit the game, readjust all my graphics settings to reset all this, and then come back. I also noticed on the way back up here that that switch that we couldn't activate at the bottom of the pool in the first area was now off, so I turned it back on. But while it was off, the fans down there were on, so I don't know what caused the fans to go on in the first place, unless it was opening up that pipe thing. So yeah, it's kind of a mystery. I don't know what that's all about. Oh, that may have been a bad idea. You don't have anything to go on to. Oh wait, no you do. Well, you can't get me up here. There we go. <laughs> That's always fun. See, like I mentioned uh, last time, I... Wait a minute. Are you a different one? You look all sad. Ollie. My parrot's dog is named Ollie. Oh, he's got the Platonic logo on his bag there, the knapsack thing. Oh, come on, Laylee, stop being so hard on him. I like mazes. Sure, why not? Let's give it a try. Oh man, have you seen some of the challenges we've done so far? Like, ones that involve ice especially? Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa! So, this is a timed thing, okay. Ah. Oh, okay. Alright, so at least we now know what we're up against. So we pretty much just have to go through in record time. So it's not really so much a... It's not so much a getting lost thing as it is a, a uh, speed thing, as usual, apparently. Okay, so as long as we don't run into boxes, I think we're fine. And as long as we keep track of where to go next, I think that's the other thing that helps. Whoa! No, that was wrong. Oh, okay, so maybe it is more of a maze than we were thinking. <laughs> that angle was so weird. Oh, we have to talk to him every time? Yes. Okay. We can still use our roll ability here, so that's not taken away! Ah. Once you get caught by one of those walls, you're pretty much stuck. Alright, I'm going to keep at this until we get it. I, I do want to do this. So is Capital B using this as like a torture chamber or something? I'm curious to know what purpose this serves in the world. What am I saying? This is a 3D platformer video game. There's... Okay, there we go. What about here? Because the walls moving around is definitely interesting enough to make me wonder how that actually changes the maze, like he was alluding to. There we go. Yay, we got it. That was a cool idea, I liked that. It's, it's kind of like a rush hour puzzle if you were having to navigate all those blocks moving around. Alright. Oh, is Ollie not here, or did we... Wait a minute. Oh, wait, this is the side of the maze that we first came out, uh, we were first exploring. And then we went over here. Wait, no, we didn't go over here because... 
There's quills here. Wait a minute. Here you are. So we just never got those quills? Pagey at the end of this mazy. There is always hope. Okay, well maybe not on that level, but sorry, buddy. Is there anything else we could do in here? Like any more quills or? Doesn't seem like there's anything there. Oh, here we go. We can still go over this way. Uh, except not. Okay. So this is probably the final state of the maze after you get through everything and it all moves around and all that. It's a pretty cool concept. I like it. So what's over here? There's more stuff to see here. I bet these sink. Yep, they sink. I like how all those guys have kind of have those little spiky things coming out of them, those like little bulbous yellow. Well, I guess spiky and bulbous don't really go together. They're kind of like little protrusions, so that's probably the better word. Oh, we made it back to where Trouser is, okay. Is this where Trouser Yeah, there he is, right there. Alright, so we've been there. We've been up to where Vendi is. So is that all to see, uh, unless we go forward to that area we saw earlier? I think yes, because this, unless there's more down here. Uh, yeah, I think this is it. Because, I mean, we came up via the other path to get over here in the first place, right? I kind of wish the background over there, you can see the color of the background. I kind of wish that were like something other than green, but the mushrooms definitely liven up the color palette, so I can't complain too much, right? Let me just check here just to make sure. I think this is it though, yeah. Just making sure. Whoops. There we are. And this is where all the mushrooms and, uh, Carty, whatever his name is. Wally. Wally was his name. Wally and Ollie. I never recognized the, the rhyme there. Okay, so that's all we can explore down those paths. So really, all that's left is this. Other than that one pagey that we could get with the, uh, what you call the, um, the button that, the time thing where you have to go across all the spiky things and all that. Alright, we are almost there, and boom. Alright, so I think I'm going to end the video here, because next time I'm hoping we can use our new abilities here that we've found. How do we get up to those? Oh wait, we probably have to use our... There we go. So yeah, next time I'm hoping we can use our new abilities to get more stuff. Uh-oh. This looks bad. Ooh, or it could be very good. Alright, well, we're going to explore this new area in the next video. So until then, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you on the flip side.